Alright, so a lot of us know that if you look up any best games of all time list, best platformer of all time list, best NES game of all time list, or just any showcase of important classic video games, everyone's gonna be like, oh my god. Gosh, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man X, Mega Man 2. And nothing against those games, I love them too. But at the risk of sounding a little pompous, I really feel genuinely confident in saying that those of us who truly love the Mega Man classic series know, we all know, his later games on the NES, like Mega Man 5? This is where things really get real for the Blue Bomber. They just knew how to make these things feel great by this point, man. Mega Man 5 feels wonderful to play in every aspect. Mega Man has his full kit, and his feedback has been perfected. Enemy feedback is pretty much flawless now, too. And when paired with the outstanding level design, such to the point that the team almost seems bored with how good they are at it by this point, you have a shockingly fair and balanced NES platformer. Even narratively, this game is a slam dunk. Putting the focus of the story on Proto Man as the antagonist is so much more compelling, as far as Mega Man stories go. Mega Man 5 is just a delightful entry to play. There are no buts about it. There's no hang-ups to detract from the pure, perfected NES Mega Man experience. 